Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James, thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel and looking forward to Superman and the upcoming DCU, hit that subscribe button because we're going to be talking about it all the time right here on the channel. Creature Commando, Superman, Peacemaker 2, Supergirl, and everything that they throw on us. That's right, Sergeant Rock, even you. We're going to talk about all of it right here. So thank you so much for joining me today, but let's get right into it. James Gunn has Creature Commandos coming out on December 5th. Is there a lot riding on Creature Commandos? I would argue no. It's a little animated series that, you know, is going to hopefully resonate with fans of comic book genre, hoping to see what the new DCU is all about. But as for like a larger audience, I don't think that too much is riding on this. I think it's going to be a fun outing and it'll be our entry point into some of the characters in the DCU like Rick Flagg Sr. who's going to play a big part. We'll talk about him a little bit towards the end of the video. But the first real foray into the DCU is going to be Superman. James Gunn Superman, formerly known as Superman Legacy. And that's hitting us in July. And that's going to be the one, the big tell, right? Fans are going to go see it. I don't think it's going to be a massive, massive movie. I don't think it's going to do numbers like Wicked is doing right now. I don't think it's going to be as big as maybe even Fantastic Four. Maybe it'll be on par with Fantastic Four because both studio, well, one studio is brand new, but it has the baggage of what happened before. They need the movie to be good, though. And James Gunn right now seems to be putting a lot of weight on his shoulders on this movie. And he seems to have a lot of faith and belief in Superman. And, and, and it's it's, you know... Could this come back and bite him in the butt? Maybe, but we're going to find that out. But I also kind of suspect that this Superman movie is going to be really good. Word's coming out that this is the biggest Superman movie ever made. People are saying it is spectacular. This is all, look, these are all people who are close to the project and they're saying these things right away. He had a test screening, which some people are speculating was just for studio heads and people within the studio. So obviously that was perceived positively, but another screening happened and he said he was very, very excited for it. And he said he is excited to show people the movie. He wants people to see this movie. And he said, that's not always the case. He said this on the Today Show in Australia. He said, it's not always the case. He doesn't always look forward to showing people a movie, but this one he fully believes in and he thinks it is phenomenal and he can't wait for people to see it. And I think that's pretty exciting. You know, as, when a filmmaker has something that they're very proud of, they want everybody to see it. And I know I've done a couple short films. No, I am not James Gunn. I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes I do and I'm like, ah, I'm not too happy with that one. And you don't really want to show people and sometimes you're really proud of something and you want to show them. Now, the one that you're proud of isn't always the one that people love the most. But I think in this, I think there's so much riding on this Superman. And now he's blending it out there how good he believes it is. That it, if it's not that good, then this could be a huge disaster for the DCU, obviously. I mean, if he's doing what he's did with the Flash, where he praised the Flash, and then people saw the Flash and they're like, I didn't like the Flash. I didn't think the Flash was bad. I don't think it was one of the greatest comic book movies ever made. Like he was stating it was when he took over the studio. And I understand he had to pump it up and whatever. But at the same time, you kind of hope that he's, you know, being honest and truthful with this Superman. And he's kind of taking, stepping away from his involvement in it and just looking at it for what it is, which is how I think he's approaching Superman. Also, I said this in a previous video. I think he's approaching Superman not as James Gunn approaching a superhero movie, a Superman movie. I think he's approaching Superman as a Superman movie first and James Gunn second. So we'll get a little bit of the James Gunnyisms in it, but at the forefront, it will be it'll be very true to Superman, who Superman is and what Superman is all about. He was also, because the Creature Commandos is coming out on December 5th in just a couple days, he was, uh, he's been doing the rounds, right? He's talking to everybody about everything and he talked to the Hollywood Reporter and he had this to say about Superman. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, David Cornsweet is going to freak everyone out with how great he is, Gunn insists. He is one of the best actors I've ever worked with and he can do everything. The man is incredible and he has praised corn sweats performance as superman before at new york city comic-con he praised his performance and i did a video then saying okay this is you know we might be getting something and i think the thing with corn sweat is i love henry cavill i think cavill was a phenomenal superman and nobody's gonna argue christopher reeves so he's in a very tough spot now and especially with superman and lois just ending and the praise that that show was getting 
Cornswood's in a tough space now. He's got to win fans over. He's got to win fans in and believe in him. The fans that feel rejected from Henry Cavill's departure. The fans who feel like Christopher Reeve is the only Superman you can have. The fans of Superman and Lois who are upset that their series ended after only three seasons because you can't have two Superman on screen. You can have multiple Batman, but God forbid you have two Superman, right? So there's those fans. So he's got to win all those people over. And I don't know if... You know, if he can with just his performance or if this is James Gunn's way of saying, believe in this guy, believe in him, give him a chance kind of thing. The way, you know, I don't know if you've seen the Craven press stuff that's happening right now, but they're almost begging you to give the movie a chance. I'm not saying that's the case with Superman. I think Cornstone's going to be a very good Superman. Don't get me wrong. Like James Gunn, for, you know, whatever you think of James Gunn, and I think he's very talented, but I know people find that, think that, you know, have their flaws with him and things they don't like about him and quirks about him that they don't like. But one thing that he does probably better than anybody on the planet I could be wrong. Would it, correct me in the comments, but his casting, right? He casts his film so perfectly every time. You're like, brilliant casting choice, brilliant casting choice. Like, very rarely does somebody feel out of place in a movie that he's done. Now, yes, he does cast a lot of his friends, true, but for the most part, like the leads and whatnot that aren't his friends, he seems to find the right people to fit in and the, and the right dynamic for what the, the stories he's doing. And don't forget, Superman's got to be in this, and he's probably going to be in Supergirl, and he's going to be in a bunch of other things. He's going to play around, and I'm really excited to see what they do with him there. And, and Corn Sweat's performance, I, look, I don't think it's going to win an Oscar, but what he's saying is exciting. But I also, you know, reserve a little bit of judgment because maybe he's just saying it to get the fans of Cavill, to get the fans of Superman and Lois, to get the Christopher Reeves fans, to get those fans to say, I know you're fans of those guys, but this guy is bringing to give him a chance. So, so it might just be a little bit of that in there too. But right now, you know what? I'll take James Gunn at his word. We'll find out in July how Corn Sweat is as Superman. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited to see Corn Sweat as Superman? Do you believe James Gunn? And who was your favorite Superman so far? Who is your favorite Superman? How about that? Also, in that Hollywood Reporter article, he talked a little bit about a show I'm very excited about, and that's Peacemaker Season 2. I loved Peacemaker Season 1. I thought it was a lot of fun. My wife and I actually look forward to watching it every weekend, kind of like Penguin. We look forward to that. Very different shows. Very completely different shows. But it was a show that we both really, both shows we both really, really liked. Peacemaker was a lot of fun. It was had full of energy. John Cena was fantastic. It was hilarious. You, you know, it was a good time watching it. Season 2... Is coming. Rick Flagg Sr. is going to be in it. He's going to find some stuff out about Rick Flagg Jr., his son, and how Peacemaker had obviously everything to do with the death of his son. He's going to find that out, and that's going to create a lot of tension. And I'm really excited to see how that's going to play into it. And that plays into a little bit, I think, I'm speculating, on what James Gunn said in the Hollywood Reporter interview. Gunn also just wrapped Peacemaker Season 2, and he's excited about the deviation that's coming the audience's way in late 2025. Season 2 of Peacemaker is going to take people by surprise, Gun shares. We take a very different route than the first season, and it's a really magical story that people are going to be blown away by. He really likes to talk about people being blown away, so I'm not sure. Maybe that's just something he says. Like, he's like, people are going to like it, but he says, people will be blown away. So we all, you know, one of the concerns with what James Gunn does is he might be overselling everything, so that's a little bit of a fear. But I believe Peacemaker Season 2 is going to be great, and I think the dynamic between Rick Flagg Sr., who supposedly has a big role in this, and Peacemaker, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to have a lot of tension and a lot of drama, and a lot of the stakes are going to be built in that relationship and their dynamic dynamic with one another and how do you resolve and how do you work together knowing that one person did something to another and also don't forget that it all comes back to Amanda Waller. Amanda Waller is the one who is responsible ultimately for it all. She's the one that put Peacemaker on on Rick Flagg Jr. She was like whatever Rick Flagg does you make sure that nothing happens to to the to the files. So it's all on Waller, so how does that come back to that? And then the Waller series, which they're still writing that script. Dave Agee's recently said that they're still working on the script. They've done some rewrites on it. They're working on it. Does that play into what you learn in Peacemaker Season 2 as well? I think it's a very exciting time for the DCU, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. Let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. I read and reply to all of them, so thank you so much for doing that, and thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today talking about listening about all of this fun stuff in the DCU. I really appreciate it. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.